on to this now. The International Relations Minister, Naledi Pando, has been self-isolating as a precautionary measure in the last couple of days. Let's speak to the minister now to find out uh, the reasons for what she has been doing. Minister, a very good morning to you. You're joining us from Pretoria. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, let's get into the reasons for why you have been self-isolating as a precautionary measure. Uh, thank you very much and good morning. Uh, before we get into that, let me say I asked for this interview to correct the report by your station that I had tested uh, positive and was in quarantine. I have had a test and my test was negative. The self-isolation was due to a staff member in the ministry having been uh, tested as positive. And this was a precautionary measure on my part to self-isolate, as uh, several of the staff in my office have done. All are fine, yeah. all have tested and are negative. And I was just correcting the report uh, you had given, which caused a lot of people to call me, yeah. uh, indicating you know, that uh, they were all praying for me. I, I was quite shocked uh, that such an erroneous report uh, would have been uh, made by ENCA. Yeah, Minister, well, uh, from our side, indeed, uh, we must issue an apology in this regard. And thank you very much for that clarity. Minister, let me bring your attention then to the story that we are running this morning of about uh, 14 German nationals. They are tourists in the country who have been discovered. And um, one person uh, has already tested positive and is in hospital, the authorities have told us uh, here in Johannesburg, while three others are showing symptoms. Do we know, Minister, or do uh, authorities like yourself know uh, whether these people were indeed present, particularly in the province of Gauteng? Well, I haven't got information as to the specific group, but I do recall uh, we have uh, been able to identify some tourists who uh, have bookings in different parts of South Africa and move from one area to another without taking the appropriate uh, precautions or availing themselves uh, to be checked uh, for uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. And we really appeal to all visitors to South Africa, if they have any symptom uh, which leads them to uh, suspect uh, that they might be uh, infected, they should please approach a health center and we will provide all assistance. Or they can approach their mission. Uh, all missions will have emergency staff, their embassies, who will be able to provide them with assistance. Mm. We can only defeat COVID-19 if all of us exercise uh, due care uh, and uh, do so in the interests of all people in South Africa. Yeah, Minister, there's no telling, of course, uh, the amount of contacts that these tourists would have uh, come into contact with. But it's also important to highlight, Minister, that uh, at least one German national in KZN has been arrested for moving around whilst having tested positive. Uh, do you anticipate that the same kind of action will take place in regard to this group in Gauteng? Well, uh, the uh, authorities are, are permitted by the regulations to, to ensure uh, that we provide uh, certainty to the people uh, of South Africa, both citizens and non-citizens, and in cases where one is deliberately flouting regulations, as is suggested in this case, definitely persons uh, uh, must be taken in by the police. Minister, do we know at the moment in the country how many tourists we have, particularly those that come from high-risk countries? They run into the thousands. Uh, there are embassies that are planning uh, to approach the South African government to evacuate uh, some tourists uh, from uh, their countries. And where uh, we are approached, I have explained to uh, the various uh, ministers who've been calling me uh, from countries in Europe in particular, uh, that in our regulations we have provided uh, a process for how one uh, a country might set about approaching the government of South Africa should they wish to evacuate. There are many, many uh, thousands of tourists from different countries, particularly those that uh, we have called high risk.
Minister, just as a final question to you, with the, the tourists that have now been uh, discovered, particularly with the one having been identified to have tested positive for COVID-19, what's the procedure? Are they to remain in the country until they are clear of COVID-19, or might they be taken to their home country should they so express? No, to, to uh, return them to their own country would expose... Uh, the crew, our staff at the borders, etc., to risk. So what we have said, once a person um, is proven to be positive and actually has uh, uh, visible uh, symptoms uh, of this pandemic, they will be placed in quarantine for the required period and can only then consider, uh, be considered either for return home or residents uh, uh, somewhere in South Africa after they are cleared of COVID-19. All right, uh, Minister Nalede Pando, thank you very much for your time joining us on the line from Pretoria.